What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This video is all about the Panasonic Homehawk floor. And what is it? It's this thing right here, which you can see in the corner of my room. Now this is a lamp and a security camera all in one, which you can definitely get. This is sneaky, it's cool. It's like a product you would just think it was a light, but there's actually a built-in security camera right up in there. And uh, we're gonna talk about this product, so let's jump into it. So here is the lamp itself right here. At the top, you get a light. Then you get your camera, your security camera right there. Then you get your little uh, touch sensor here. And the touch sensor, as you can see, the light's on. So if you touch it once, it's bright, as bright as it can get. Then, uh, you know, second amount of brightness. Least and then off. But ultimately it works as a sensor too in the app and I'll show you all of that. And it works really, really well. Obviously it's not turning on right now even though it sees me because it, it senses that there is sufficient light inside of the room. Next you have your light right here which is gonna indicate if the it's recording or not, it sees something. Obviously it's turning red because it sees me and it's recording my actions. It also has two-way talk so you can talk and they can hear and vice versa from this lamp. There's also a slot for a micro SD card if you wanna put additional storage in there because you will want to, there's no cloud storage built into this. And then here is like the sync button in order to get this set up. And then that's pretty much it. This It's just a, a skinny uh, light. And I, I think it's cool the way it looks. It's definitely very, very modern. Now let's talk about the light. Now I will show this at night because I think that's obviously where it's gonna be able to be used the best. This light shoots straight up. Straight, straight all the way up. And at that point, it does not add a whole lot of light. It's definitely a secondary kind of light. So if you wanted to use this as your main light and you wanted it to be nice and bright, I wouldn't use this light for that. It's not, and maybe it's supposed to be made for that, but it just doesn't get that bright. It definitely is good secondary light. I have it in my, the corner of my, you know, kitchen, living room area, dining room, whatever you want to call it. And at that point, it's perfect for what it is. You know, if it's late at night, this thing will see us in the kitchen and allow us to get some you know, easy light because the, the sensor works really, really well in terms of making sure that light turns on. I also love the fact, like I said earlier, that the light has a sensor, meaning this will automatically turn on when it notices any motion uh, when it's dark out. And uh, so I absolutely love that. You can also set a schedule for that. And again, I'll show you in the app. As for the camera, it gets a pretty wide angle and I'll show you some clips in a little bit, but ultimately not blown away by it. It's 1080p video, but it's not super clear, not blown away by the camera uh, at all really, I, I'll have to uh, say. Other than that, uh, let's jump through the app because this is everything physical about the lamp and I'll, and I'll let you know after that what my final thoughts are on here. All right, so this is the main interface on the app here and uh, when you want to look at the camera before you even click into it actually you can turn off the lights in the bottom right you can turn them on off set the uh, brightness of them all from right there you can also click right here and go into lighting and in here you can set up a schedule just for the light so if i want the light to turn on and be on during you know certain times of the day i can do that can also set a vacation randomizer, which will, you know, if I go on vacation, it will automatically turn on and off the lights at certain times, so it makes it look like someone's here. The motion sensor I absolutely love. So when someone walks by the camera or it notices some kind of motion, and you can be pretty far away, um, you can, uh, it, it'll automatically turn the light on, and it'll do that for three minutes. Uh, if it doesn't notice any motion for three minutes, it'll turn the, the light will turn off. You can also at the bottom set the brightness for the light. The other one, when you click into it, allows you to go in here into just more of the, the settings that you have in here. You can uh, change the names, check your signal str strength, uh, mess with the lighting like we just did, go into video and change the resolution, change the frame rate. You can go into brightness for the video and change that to be brighter or lower. Night vision, you can change that to color, monochrome, or just turn that off so it doesn't have any night vision. Recording settings. So there's a lot of like settings in here and control that you can go in here 
and take hold of. So, and, it, and, it, and that part's pretty easy to get into. Change your uh, detection settings and all that. Status LED light. I just turned this on. I had it on the whole time. But basically, when you turn that off, that allows you to not see that red light um, when it starts recording video to keep it even more uh, in, the, in the dark of being able to people to know that it's recording them. You can go into system and in system, this is where you can do your firmware updates and all that. You can also, also in uh, firmware updates, uh, sorry, system updates, battery status. You can add batteries to this. So if you lose your electricity, it will still record the video uh, that it captures to the camera. Especially if your internet went out, that'd be very handy and go back and grab that footage from the SD card. And then other than that, if you want to see your footage, just click into the camera. Instead of going live at the bottom here, I can look through footage that I have. And this is all from today. And if I want to view one of these clips, I can just tap on it. You can also click show all. This is going to show every single day that you have. And at the top, you can see you can cycle through the days. And it'll just overwrite the, the when the card gets full, it will overwrite uh, any footage. So you could potentially have you know years and years of footage if it didn't capture a lot of stuff. But I'll turn this on this at 1131. It go back here and then we'll check out and go a little bit earlier in the day so that we can hopefully see someone walk by the camera. So the Panasonic Comhawk floor is 270 bucks. Now you do get a lamp, you do get a security camera all in one, and it's definitely hidden away in terms of people not probably thinking that you have a security cam in that lamp. So I think that is really cool. It's, it's very helpful as well, because if you wanna capture footage on somebody you don't want them to know, then that's amazing for that. I also love that the light automatically turns on when it senses motion, as long as you set it up in the app. Um, also the ability to add a micro SD card and get the footage on there is really, really good. Um, there's no cloud storage, which is a downer to me. Also, it doesn't have person detection and I don't think it's gonna get person detection. So you end up with just a lot, a lot of clips. I would really like that to have had person detection so that when I does see a person, it would alert me and maybe I do wanna look at the footage at that point. The app is okay, it's a little bit I can see how someone might get a little bit confused by it, but I'm kind of used to it by now myself because I've had other Panasonic Homehawk security cameras for a bit now and I'm used to it. So it doesn't really confuse me, but I can see how it might be a little bit confusing to other people. The security camera overall, the footage, again, not that great. Um, it would be, it's good as, again, as kind of like a secondary camera. I wouldn't be bothered by that. The light isn't bright enough. I would like the light to be a lot brighter as you saw in, in lit environments and dark environments. It just doesn't give you a ton of light. If you're using it as a secondary light and a secondary security camera, I think you'd be very happy. But if it's the main for everything, your main light, your main security camera, at that point, I don't think it's that wonderful. If you have this, let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Thanks for watching. If you wanna pick it up, I'll link it down below. We'll see you guys down the road. Peace.